you are from Louisiana, as we discussed when you were here in studio last week. You won state championships there as a high school player, and I mean there meaning the Superdome, obviously your BCS championship with LSU uh, in that spot. Was that the loudest you've ever heard that building, Andrew? Uh, it's not. It's not even close. That was uh, an extremely loud arena, and uh, man, what a, what a place! I mean, you, you can't even you know nothing but give a ton of credit to the fans in that city, man. I, you know, it's always been a special place, a place I think a lot of. And what a what a job they did to support their team, and how loud it was. Uh, that was that was unbelievable. Um, you know, it just uh, it was, you, you left there with a ton of respect for the culture and the atmosphere of that city, and how much they believe in their football team. Yeah, you know, I've never seen, and you could tell me if this was a first for you or if you were aware of it at the time, uh, and this is another uh, a great call on the spot by McVay uh, to call a timeout. I've never seen a quarterback go run out to the numbers to get into the ear of a wide receiver to try and relay something that Goff was doing at the time. I've never seen that before, Andrew. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, it was unbelievable. I mean, honestly, we we uh, lost communication there, and uh, you know, you, you just we we thought maybe that some verbal stuff would be able to happen, but it just nothing at all. And so, uh, actually, the the headset and Jared's helmet, uh, you know, crazily and shockingly, all of a sudden didn't work. Rich and uh, he actually had to, he actually had to play uh, play a series with the backup quarterback's helmet on That's at right. one point. Um, you know, it's it's. Uh, like I said, man, there's a lot of things that go into these games. And uh, you know what? We're just happy we got out of there with a W. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.